No, I had a great day. Everything stuck, everything worked. It was one of them days you're dreaming of. So I'll, um, I'll take another one tomorrow, but we, uh, we all know Somerset. It could be, could be rocks tomorrow. It was definitely diamonds today, but we'll take what we can get tomorrow and try and get into a few. I think I'm going to end up with six or seven today. Um, uh, 520 was the biggest, and I think well, I had an undersize, I suppose, but for 355, I think it was the smallest legal fish. So, yeah. Got a little bit of a spot there twigged, but yeah, there's a few fellas around me that, yeah, know of it, and I think if we can get there early enough, hopefully get one or two of them good ones and try and fill a bag elsewhere, I think will be the, the plan. Someone will get them tomorrow, I'm, I'm, you know, everyone usually does, you know, at every tournament, but yeah, it's Somerset. We, we all could come in with nothing tomorrow, so. We'll see what happens. I'll give a shout out to Matt Langford because he couldn't make it. I uh, hope it's all going well, buddy. Looking after your spots for you, Matt. <laughs> yeah, no, it was a pretty good day. Uh, had a pretty good pre-fish yesterday. I got my bag, so I was pretty happy. And um, we went up to one spot and I was just catching sort of 35s, around that 30 to 35. So I got a bag of them pretty early and I was pretty happy with that. And then we started looking around. We'd come across this bank and there was just fish everywhere. And I fished it for probably about 20 minutes. And then I started fishing for them like how I fished for Barra with a jerk bait on the live scope and then started catching big ones. So just stuck with it on the same spot, just grinded it out and we managed to get three over 40. So absolutely stoked. Yeah, I had, uh, had a decent day for Somerset standards. I think I caught uh, seven legals and maybe three or four undersize, um, all basically from one spot. So I kind of hit it, had to hit it twice to get my bag. I would have liked to just have to go once, but had to go back to get the fifth and then uh, and managed to get a 50 out of it as well. So I got a big one, but rest are mostly pretty small. So um, I think I might get a couple from there, but I, I doubt I'd get the five from there. And, and I'd, I'd be very, very surprised if I caught another big one there because that was, uh, that was a, a resident fish off a snag, I'm pretty sure. So we'll just bounce around tomorrow and try and find a few more, I think. I had a bit of a juice hole that I found yesterday that were sitting a little bit deep. It was a kind of just a little patch off a little point. Um, I was confident I could get them there. I knew that you could get big fish off the edges. But saying that, I didn't really focus on the edges too much because the juice hole kind of struggled a bit. I got fish there, not the size I wanted. I got my bag in, I think it was half an hour. The first fish came at 8.08 after the, the six knots all the way up there. Um, and then the fifth fish I, came, I think came at 8.38. So half an hour, I got my bag, I left that. And then I went and banged some banks for, for about two hours and, and I got two good ones, uh, which was really good. Oh, sorry, one good one. Then I went back to that juice hole, hoping that the, that the bigger fish would come later on in the day. But um, one did, but yeah, it was a bit of, bit of a struggle. It wasn't as good as I thought it would be, put it that way. I think that one spot will be okay tomorrow. Um, I think the edges are probably gonna be a bit bashed. But um, if you can find those banks that are out of the way that nobody's fished and maybe just just think outside the box and fish some random banks. I think that's where you're going to get the uh, the other fish. So. Yeah, just fished one bank all, well, most of the time, except for about an hour, just up and back. Just fishing shallow, rocky bottom. Uh, probably had the bag by eight, did I? Nine? Don't know. Had it early. Then got one upgrade later. Too long. Uh, too long to get my limit. Uh, my banks that I caught fish off two weeks ago, they've sort of certainly dried up. I think I was probably the third on them yesterday and the 30th today. So, um, yeah, uh, I think I had my bag fill about 11.30. I took up the timber and get some small ones to fill up my bag. And then I got a nice upgrade. Uh, it was only a 4.35, but I got him with sort of 20 minutes ago before the end of the session. So, yeah, not the day that I was hoping for, but uh, I think I still might be in with a chance for second after Mick's big bag. So, um, Yeah, it was a good day. Good morning. Caught them pretty early, had bag by 10 o'clock. Yeah, so I worked out a pattern uh, the other week when I was here pre-fishing. Um, I was just hoping those fish would still be there. Went back yesterday, they were still there um, in numbers, so I was pretty confident that I'd be able to get fish pretty quickly, my bag pretty quickly, and um, was really just hoping the bigger ones were there, but they just sort of, I'm sure they're there. They just weren't there for me when I needed them, you know, right now. So, but I'll go back tomorrow and you know, the other week I caught sort of the same bag as what I did today on one day and then the day after that there were, you know, two plus kilo models, so fingers crossed.